I have no one to be And my ancient empty streets too dead for dreaming Hey, Mr. Tambourine Man, play a song for me All right, now have a routine oh. Yes, sir, officer Hello, how are you? And what can I do for you? You lost your way. <laughs> You're making a nuisance. A nuisance? Little me? I don't think so, sir. Honest, cross my heart. Ladies and gentlemen of the jury, am I creating a nuisance? No, I'll leave them alone. Right, you're nicked. Ow! Oh, 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 Come on, no, help! No, let him go! Go away! He's been cousin, he's just visiting. He's a bit funny in the head, but he's all right, really. Oh, come on, give him a break. You're her cousin. Second cousin. Her auntie's brother's sister is my mother's aunt's wife. I'm tired. I don't like paperwork. Don't let me see you here again. Or you. And I never knew. Me too. Strangers in a strange land. You can say thanks if you like. What for? For getting you off. You just lost me a room for the night, you. You horrible rat person. I could have had a nice warm cell. Now I'll just have to go and stay at the Tossin Hilton again. David, you might well be the accountant, but I've got the forecast sitting right here in front of me. And... No, now you just listen to me a minute. If I raise my prices by 12.5% across the board, it would generate enough income to put the deposit down on a new unit. All right, boat, then, by next spring. Yes, David, what do I pay you for indeed? Bye-bye. Right. It's just not fair, is it? Hey, I met this bloke today. Funny bloke. I mean, whatever happened to encouraging initiative, eh? He's a scouser, you know, a normal person. I mean, I'm a new business, providing employment for a workforce. You don't mean me? Yeah. You don't employ me. Occasionally, out of the goodness of my heart, I help you out. Yeah, and in return, I'll pay you. That makes you a workforce. Ooh, power, power, power. Let me bleed, Ned. Well, it's not as if I'm some captain of industry with a truckload of bimbos in the ballroom, is it? He's enough of this bloke. I've given half his money away to anyone who wasn't smiling. Well, I'm a simple grafter who wants to earn a quid, that's all. Without paying tax. I would have got there eventually. Of course you would. Of course I would. I'm mean, legit, aren't I? No, you're not. Where's me head? Oh, they've got all my invoices, all my accounts, all my receipts. What's this? I'm sending in a bleeding hit squad. What am I supposed to do, eh? Hi, Thomas, permanently. Jump in a bath of acid and dissolve yourself. Mm. Think that's a fellow? Oh, look, come on, I'm serious. I don't want it to go down the pan now, just, just as I... Well, you Catching know. Catching up with Sally? No, getting on my own feet. She runs a together business while you're just a hopeless cock-up artist. Thank you. Sally, now, she's good at sums, isn't she? Come on, don't be silly. You couldn't possibly... <sighs> all right, I'll be over first thing in the morning, but just hang on, all right? OK, love, bye-bye. What have you done now? It's Julie Vernon. Never heard of her. You have. Hmm? I told you about her. The class of 72, she lives over the other side. Her husband's just walked out on her, and she says she's thinking of doing something drastic. Let her get on with it. She's a very good friend of mine. I mean, what if she overdoses or something? Problem solved. Thomas! Well, how long, then? But it, would, it would only be a couple of days, please. I've only got two boats going out. You could handle it. Yeah, but what about my tax people? I'm supposed to have a full set of books written by tomorrow. You're supposed to help. Well, do you want my accountant to sit in on your interview, eh? Oh, that's lovely, isn't it? Thanks a lot. Yeah, sorry, Thomas. Must run. Get your people to call mine. No, forget it. Forget it. I'm not a charity case. All right, all right. I, I won't go, then. Well, you've got to go, haven't you? She's talking about topping herself. But you just said that you... Well, don't tell me what I just said. I was here, remember? What is the matter with you? I'm working, right? Pulling me finger out. All right, it's only a small way, but I'm making an effort, right? Yeah. 
Yeah, well, they're coming at me. I've got a turnover of two bob a month and they're putting a boot in. Thomas, if you're going to be anything, let alone the world's first gorilla grand millionaire, uh -huh. you've got to cope. Cope with the little things, or how are you going to cope with the big things, eh? So come on, face it head on, stand up, be a woman! You haven't got a clue, have you? You don't understand a bloody thing, do you? Now, you run all round the country, mopping up other people's bleeding hearts, but you don't see when a bloke's trying to achieve what it's right under your own nose, do you? Come on. Well, that's it. Forget it. I'm fed up. Going home. Why? Because my mascara's running, that's why. Yeah. You go off and look after your little friend. Don't worry about anything. I'll take care of all this, won't I? Grubs up, lads. Street. Oh, OK. Um, is there anything else while I'm there? Um, honey, and I'm not sure about the chamomile. They'll have that in the delicatessen in the mall. Is that OK? Of course it is. That's what I'm here for. Now, you go straight back to bed, all right? Thank you, Sally. See you in a bit. Look, the bloke's getting married tomorrow, right? All you've got to do is go in and pretend to arrest him for non-payment of child maintenance. Should be a giggle. Oh, they don't want a stripper. Of course they don't want a stripper. I run a legitimate business. Why well, don't anybody believe me? What do you think? Yeah, you kill him. What about me? Do I look like a serious businessman? You look like a third division football manager. What are you so nervous about? Jay Higgs, inspector of taxis. Heavy name, Higgs. When people called Higgs, drive bulldozers and headbutt orphans. I could be dead by lunchtime. <laughs> Oh, he's only early. Hello? Oh, uh, yeah, can I help? Mr. Jim? Yeah, but I'm a bit busy at the moment. I've got the gorillas from the revenue coming round. Jane Higgs, good morning. I'll be off then, Mr. Jim. Look, I'm sorry, when I say gorillas... No charge this time, but next time you're in Tesco's car park, please try and make sure your dress is suitably adjusted. Goodbye. Yeah, well, would you like to come into the office? Oi! Thank you very much. Sweet of you. But you shouldn't have bothered clearing all. Well, I always used to, didn't I? <laughs> anyway, it's the only way I could get at the stove. I just feel so weak these days. How long have you had this viral thing? Oh, I don't know. They're all so vague about it. Unidentifiable viruses. It's really difficult. <sighs> and the bastard left you when you were like this. It was very hard. Oh, did you say why? Not a word. Mind you, he has been behaving a bit strangely of late. That's why the place is in such a mess. He hasn't done a stroke of arsework for over a week. Well, don't you think you should get someone in then, eh? 
Let's put the left. Hope he doesn't come back. I think I need to go and lie down for a bit, Sally. All right then, love. Go on. This invoice is dated six months ago. Yeah? The bio still smudges. Well, you know, it was probably a leaky pen. Oh. We'll get back to it. Yeah. You don't have a bank account? No, well, I don't, I don't trust them. What, banks? No, they get robbed, don't they? <laughs> and relay account information to the Inland Revenue? No, 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 you got me wrong. No, it's, it's just they need references and all that stuff. And you couldn't get a decent reference? No, I didn't say that. It's just... What's this? Well... A deposit for £400. Well, it's a bit of biz, I suppose. Its date doesn't uh, correspond with any of these smudgy invoices. Nor do half a dozen other deposits for £200 or more. No, but... No, we see... Look, see, the thing is, I, d I don't always put them in straight away. No, I like the feel of them. I like to carry them around for a little while. That's stupid, I know. <laughs> yes. We'll get back to it. Now, about this non-deduction of tax at source of your employees. This what? P-A-Y-E. Pay E? Pay as you earn. Oh, that, yeah. yeah. <laughs> what about it? I was hoping you might have some fascinating or creative reason why you haven't complied with this well-known and simple law. Go on, Mr. Jin. Give it a try. Make my day. Not very funny. Thanks a lot. Come on, I'm not a big business bloke, you know that. I'm a newcomer. And so I suppose I've made a few mistakes, so it's your job to nick me. It's not your job to come in here and act like some little Hitler and make funny remarks at my expense. I'm sorry. I did not mean to offend. Uh, didn't you? Thought that was all part of the fun. No, not at all. Tax inspectors are people too, you know. What, like real human beings? Just about. Tell you what, you could really surprise yourself if you tried. How so? Well, stop playing Spanish Inquisitions and try helping people. How? I'll do a deal with you. You give me a quick lesson in bookkeeping, and I'll give you dinner tonight. I can't have dinner with a... Taxpayer? Called an awful lot of those about. You could starve to death. <laughs> no, I don't think so. Well, come on, you'll be safe. It's just downstairs, the Clive of India. That's well, a bit cheap and nasty, but I can put it all on the slate. If that's allowed. Go on, what'd you say? Eh? Seven? Seven thirty? I'm a bit busy today. Oh, sure, yeah, yeah. I won't be able to make it much before eight. Oh, smashing. <laughs> My coat. Yeah, of course, sir, yeah. All right, then, I'll be waiting for you at eight, downstairs. I'll see myself up. Well, if that's all right, yes. You look after yourself. Thomas, what have you done? And how many seas must the white dog sing Before she sleeps in the sand Yes, and how many times must the cannonball fly Before they are forever back The answer, my friend, is no wind in the wind the answer is blowing. You have got the worst voice in the entire history of the universe. And whatever went before it. You're ugly. We've all got our cross to bear. <laughs> Why are you dressed as a police personage? I'm a police woman, a gram. You're too short. Thanks. Oh, sorry. Well, I'm off to do my gig now. Can I come? OK. You can be me police dog. <laughs> Payment of child maintenance. <laughs> Get off, you're not a copper. Yeah. You're too short. <laughs> you wasted your money, lads. You're too short for a copper. No, you're one of them stripping police women, aren't you? <laughs>
<laughs> I do not strip. Oh, of course you do. Come on, Don't get him off. Come on, get him off. 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 That was a fan. And he knows all his stuff. Well, there isn't all that much to know, is there? I mean, his output would be very small compared to that of a real coach like Mr. James Joyce. <laughs> Mind you, he did pen the odd humorous verse. Here's your arsenic, dear, and your weed killer biscuits. I have throttled your parakeet and spat in your vases. You remember the rest, of course. Dylan never wrote that. Under Milk Wood? It's Bob Dylan, not Dylan Thomas, you great ferret. Oh, for God's sake, I thought you'd found a poet. He's just a wandering minstrel. He looks a right bloody nut or two. He's all right. Well, you better take him back where you found him. His owner's probably missing him. He's got nowhere to go. Can he stay with us for a bit? No, he cannot. Definitely out of the question. He'd steal everything and murder us in our beds. Forget it. Ta. I knew you'd like him. I was really good for him. He'd been nowhere without me. You remember that time he wanted to be a full-time musician? Oh, yeah. Vaguely. He played piano with a small dance band, weekends and things. Then they wanted to go full-time at one of the Bailey's clubs. Bloody fool. He wanted to throw away a good career chasing dreams. So he's got a stop to that nonsense. So what's he doing now? Packaging. He's in packaging. Oh. Messed that up as well, really. Missed the promotion board a couple of times. Never quite on the ball enough. I never said a word. Didn't mind because he was a business genius. So why did you marry him? Well, it was wild, wasn't it? Really mad, bad and dangerous. Swept me clean away. Yeah. We all know men like that. Uh... Could I use your phone? Gosh, you can, Pet. There's a unit and counter thing next to the phone. It's easy to work out what you are. Oh. Right. Well, could you get me a small whiskey? Sally? Sure. Small whiskey coming up. Oh, I might even buy one for myself. If I've got enough money left. I'm sorry there's no one here to take your call at the moment. Oh, Thomas. Look, you're not at your place, you're not at my place, so I presume you're out with your grubby pals. Um, could you give me a ring? Any time. Oh, uh, the number's by the phone, all right? Sally! <laughs> it's OK, Julie, I'm just getting it. <laughs> That's winding me up, isn't there? She'll probably be wired. Do what? Hidden mics. Oh, leave off. Why would they bother with me? They've got bigger fish to fry. Aye, but they're the difficult ones. They'll be a doddle to catch. <laughs> it's the body count they're after. Quantity of victims, not quality. I wouldn't mind frisking her. Don't her. <laughs> yeah. yeah.
Good evening, good lady. May I take your coat, please, and welcome you to my humble restaurant. It's good for business. Hello, Miss Higgs. Um, no, is this all right for you? Mm. There you go. Thank you. My name's Jane. Oh, that's nice. What's yours? Well, I think I'll have a large vodka and tonic. <laughs> no, I meant your name. Oh, <laughs> Thomas. It's on my file, isn't it? Just checking. Oh, listen, talking about that, I've uh, got a load more receipts here that, from minicabs. Yes, well, I'm not on duty now. Uh. So, what would you like for a starter then? Large vodka and tonic sounds great. Yeah. Uh, Clive, two large vodkas and tonic, mate. Certainly, sir. Two very fine large vodkas coming right away. He's really authentic. Yeah, yeah. I mean, I wrecked my health for him. I did. Keeping up the front, pretending all was well, trying to make ends meet. Yeah, well, there's not much money in packaging. Not enough for a family. I haven't got a family. That's the other thing. He couldn't, you know. But I said that's OK. I never held it against him. We are made the way we are. I mean, I could have gone out and found a more complete man, but I didn't. I stuck by him. And now the time has passed and he's left me so unfair. <laughs> Look, do you think you ought to be drinking with your medication? Oh, yes, that's perfectly all right. The doctors are confused, you know, aren't they all? Yeah, just a touch. Holy shaded Just wander about. Yeah. No family. No. Me neither. Oh, you poor little thing. I am not a poor little thing, thank you very much. You know what it's like. No family, no ties. It's fine. You're very head on, aren't you? How do you mean? Well, you don't take any bull. <laughs> You're not going to give me any, are you? No. You got a face like. You say cherub and I'll kill you. Like a duck's bum. Shut up. Ooh. But what's a nice girl like you doing in the revenue anyway? Such a waste. Have no fear. I don't intend to spend the rest of my days chasing two Bob Chislers. Present company accepted. Present company included. No, I intend to be a crash hot tax avoidance consultant. I'm presently working in the enemy camp. Oh, I got you. So when you leave, you'll know the dodges from both sides. Mm, precisely. Ooh. Very smart. Sally, that's my, well, partner. She, she's got a good head on her shoulders. Partner? Well, yeah, sort of a business partner. You didn't say you'd a business partner. No, she, well, she's not exactly a business partner. What I mean is she, she's got a business, which is nothing to do with me, and every now and again I help her out, you know, when she needs helping out. And But she never pays me. I mean, I don't get anything, not a penny, honest. I don't. Honest. Will you relax? I told you I'm off duty. Yeah, well, I had a mate once. Aussie bloke. Really unlucky. He lost his leg to a crocodile. Now, the really unlucky thing about it was the croc said he'd already eaten that day. I think he wants to close. Oh, listen, Clive, have you got the ladies' what's name? So, what about nightcap then, eh? Hmm, well. Wow. Well, my place is close. Your place? Your place is revolting, Thomas. I think we'll go to my place. Oh. She loves you, yeah, yeah, yeah. She loves you, yeah, yeah, yeah. With a love like So we got another night then? Yeah. Brian. Brian Dillon? Yeah. <laughs> That's really got the same ring to it, has it? I don't know about you. You're like some kind of Pied Piper throwback from the boring 60s. People just don't go around singing and giving money away and being happy. How do you get away with it? Just got to be good. Good? Yeah. Follow the straight line and life is simple. Hippie rubbish. <laughs> don't smile at me like that. It's making me itch. 
You're a good person too. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I'm sure you're both tired and dying to get the heads down. You'll be in your own room, Pippa. There's some bedding for your friend who could sleep on the sofa where he'll be very comfortable. And if he wants anything during the night, I'll be here beside him where I can keep an eye on him all the time. Great. Come on through. Yeah, I'm, I'm not fronting anything. I'm not laundering any dodgy dosh. I've just, just got a poxy little business which makes me a bit of fag money. And I don't even smoke. Good. Cheers. Yeah, cheers. Thomas? You're not married, are you? No. Didn't claim for a wife, did I? Are you living with anyone? No. Would that be deductible? So you're on your own? Yeah. We're two healthy, unattached adults, are we not? Yeah. So what's the problem? Look, Jane, I don't want to be rude. No, I'm sorry you sort of caught me on the wrong foot, you know what I mean? And we had a smashing night, but I'll tell you what, I'll shoot off, it's a bit late. Got a busy day tomorrow. Got to see my tax inspector. I am your tax inspector. That's right. So I'll see you tomorrow then. Look, it was a smashing night, thanks a lot, and uh, see you in the morning, all right? Don't you be late. Reply again. We'll still be out. They're all bastards. Do you think you should be up, love? I've decided what I've got to do. Oh, now that is good. Positive thinking, great. I made a vow for better or for worse. All right, I've got the worst bit. Well, that's my cross to bear. But I have to go back to him. Yeah, but didn't he leave you? Oh, no, never mind. The important thing is he comes home to me and I'll forgive him and love him and care for him. And all you've got to do, Sally, is to go and find him. Sal? Yeah, 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 of course I handled it. Yeah, look, look they're on the wall at this very minute, all right? Oh. Flowers? Yeah, well, they're on the water as well, yeah, yeah. What? Where was the last night? Uh, well, I was working on my tax problem, wasn't I? Yeah, well, I expect you were ringing here when I was working there and Vicky Verky. No, I just missed each other. Yeah, I've got to go to the lion's den this morning. <laughs> uh, this Higgs bird brain bloke here wants to give me something called a desk audit. Watcha, how's it going? Oh dear, oh dear. <laughs> Too much sauce of Rooney last night, eh? What would the Chancellor say? Mr. Gin. Thomas? Mr. Gin. Please sit down. Oh, gotcha. Yep, home turf, eh? The walls have ears, say no more. Mr. Jin, I have to tell you that this interview will be recorded. Do you clearly understand that? Yeah, that's all right, no problem. Do you know Mr. John Lively? Well, of course I do. I told you all about him last night. You have worked for this man and received money from him for that work. Hold on, you said you were off duty. I'm on duty now. Mr. Lively has no record of any payments to you. Mr. Lively has no records full stop. I will be calling him in in due course. I take it you can't explain any of these various payments into your post office account? Well, I told you, I forgot. Well, what's going on here? 
and you have no good reason for not having paid your national insurance for the past 22 years. Oh, I didn't think it was necessary. I've never been on the dole. I work on the fiscal theory of no use, no pay. You've never paid any tax of any sort, anywhere, anyhow. You're a total social parasite. It is because of shifty little rats like you that the rest of the population have to cough up a few bob more every year. Jane? You don't contribute. You never have. I think I'll be prosecuting you for fraud and evasion. Who what? You'll probably be heavily fined and maybe sent to jail. At least I bloody well hope so. Excuse me, what is going on? You're a bastard. I'm a bastard? Well, how did that get in me file? Hardly anybody outside our street knew. <laughs> and don't think you can flannel me with your pathetic little jokes. Hold on. Listen, what is the matter with you? You know what I think? I think it's time for your coffee break. It did occur to me that maybe you weren't on duty, you know, but uh, well, it just took me by surprise. Well, women are allowed to open the bidding these days, Thomas. I mean, we have been for quite some time. No, I know all that. I was brought up on the sort of cusp of the change of attitude. I still think a bit like Biggles. <laughs> <laughs> I took it as a statement of total disinterest. Oh, no, honestly, honestly, I think you're smashing. Well, that's all right, then. Uh, oh, yeah. <laughs> all right, all right. You have to be kidding. You have to be right out of your tiny cotton-picking mind. Yeah, all right. Don't shoot the messenger. I'm only telling you that she wants to forget and forgive, that's all. Well, I don't. I want to forget, but I'm not forgiving. I could have been here, in heaven, years ago. Some heaven. Heaven is relative to what's gone before. Look, Julie has one or two problems. Oh, I should, Coco. For years, I waited on her hand and foot. And then I had her checked out medically. Her only problem is that she's bone idle, neurotic, and she drinks like a fish in a drought. Oh, maybe if you'd had children. Well, to have children, you have to have sex. What? You mean... Royal weddings, if I was lucky. You're not going back, are you? You're getting warm, kid. <sighs> what am I doing here? God knows. But I have come home. I've got everything I want here. Music, alcohol, and maybe one day some kind lady will walk into my life and restore me faith in the species. Meanwhile, why don't you go back to Julie and tell her you found me penniless and pickled. Tell her I'm a lost cause. Tell her I'm a soul in torment. Tell her that she's better off without me. And then suggest she take holiday. A long one, with my blessing, in Australia. Bye, Eddie. Here's Sally. Yeah? Remember, you and me, we'll always have Paris.
you writing? Me playlist. At the end of every month, I pay Bob Dylan for the use of his material. A busker, he pays royalties. And what does Bob Dylan do? Sends the money straight back to me. Or if I've had a rough month, he sometimes bungs on a bit. Ah, you're not as daft as you look, you, are you? God, I hope not. Next week, I'm going to concentrate on the Highway 61 album. Like it rolling. But we've already been moved on from almost everywhere. Yeah. Time for another town. What does he say? One more cup of coffee for the well, room. He said, I thought you liked it here. Yeah, it's great. You're great. But you're still going to go? It's my job. When are you going? This afternoon. No. Sorry. Now, stuff it. I've got some say in this. Tomorrow, you can go tomorrow. Tomorrow morning. OK. Go away from my window Leave at your own chosen speed I'm not the one you want, babe I'm not the one you need Now, let me get this straight. You are under the gun from the revenue. All right, all right. But their man, or in this case, woman, is prepared to call off the dogs or the vultures that accompany her disgusting profession because she desires your grey and flaccid body. So what am I going to do then, eh? Walk away. <laughs> you have plighted your trust to the lovely Sally. It is she to whom you are beholden. Be an honourable man for once in your miserable, grubby life. Yeah, you're right. Jane's going to get the hump, though. She might am, and with all this tax stuff. Now, well, what's money compared to the union of two souls? How can you put a price on the love of your good woman? Yeah. Your name came up in discussions and all. My name? Amongst others, yeah. Seems they're going to have a look at a load of people round here. <laughs> look, I've just been thinking, yeah. There's two sides to every coin. There's two sides to every bed as well. And the twin need never meet or know what the hell is going on under the... Well, I'm sure you get me point. No. My financial affairs will take about two seconds investigation before they start springing more leaks than Card of Arms Park. So you're saying I should make the ultimate sacrifice? I'm saying I want another beer. I'm in a state of deep shock. Woman! So what do you think? Look, you can't ask me questions of life and death while I'm carrying a heavy object. Yeah, yeah put it on there. Gently. <clears throat> yeah, grab a hold of that. God, what a place. Some mornings I look out across this lot and say to myself, Christ, why bother? All life's rubbish seems to pause briefly here on its way to the dump. Me and Claudus. How about not you? Oh, don't be soft. Ah, oh, yes, sit down. I'm not your father, Pippa. God knows I would have enjoyed the privilege. Well, pretend. I just want a bit of advice from a bloke who normally never stops giving it. <sighs> yeah, well... This lad, this... this a flotsam with an outlook on life akin to the common daffodil. Yeah. Oh, look, Pippa, I'm not the man you think I am. I'm full of rubbish. Oh, I can turn a word or quote a poet, but, but there's not a great deal in here, really. There's no cunning wisdom, no special knowledge of my fellow man. Let's face it, if there was, I wouldn't be here in my tod, would I? I can't help you. Stop that. Oh, just tell us what you think, or I'll chin you. Well, what criteria do you usually apply in these situations? I don't. Never have. Never ever? Never. Never found anyone worthy enough. Oh, well, in that case, no. He 
He's not the one. How do you know? Well, if you have to ask, you're not sure in yourself. And if you're not sure, you're better do without. Okay. And thanks for giving us advice when I've asked for it. Any time. Any time. It's very simple. Yeah, I can see. Yeah. Will you please pay attention? Well, I am. I'm honest. This is your in column, mm -hmm. and that is your out column. Ah, oh. in, out. Mm. You subtract your legitimate expenditure from your gross income, and that becomes your net income. Say that again. Net income. Thank you, I like that. And by the time you've deducted your various allowances, mm -hmm. Well, your income is so pathetically low, you'll hardly have to pay anything at all. Will I get a refund, then? No, you can't get a refund until you've paid something over. There's always a catch in there. Mm. Yes. Will you kiss me? Now. If uh, you want to try and make yourself comfortable somehow, I've just got a bit of tidying up to do, won't you, Jeff? Okay. Of course I am. I'm a bit... <laughs> Me too. All right, was it? Dunno. Seemed okay. But what suddenly brought this on? Found someone I really liked. Just liked? Okay, the other thing, the full thing, okay. Loved. Well, that's nice. I'll leave you. Sorry to disturb you. See ya. I can't do this. Who's in there? Well, it's it's a young girl who lives around here. She's like everybody's daughter, you know? Not Sally. No, not Sally. But might just as well have been. Well, yeah.
daughters live in dependence. They are deductible, you know. Oh, yeah. Look, 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 look it's not very late. Why, why don't we... Bye, Thomas. Jane, Anne. I'll see myself out. Hello? Hello, you. Hello, you. Still up? Yeah. What are you doing? Uh, nothing. Just uh, messing about. God, I've had a dog of a trip. I'm dead whacked. Yeah, I bet you are. I could do with some TLC. So good eyes, it happens. So, did you sort your little friend out, then? Not at all. It was a total failure. I should never have gone. Some people live in deep, dark caves, Thomas. Yeah, you're probably right, girl. <laughs> so, how did your tax thing go, then? Well, the inspector turned out to be this really tasty bird who wanted to drag me away to her love nest for a night of passion. So I heard. Do what? So I heard. Nah, you didn't. Mm, the wires were red hot across the Pennines, Thomas. Yeah? Oh, yeah. You haven't got the ump? Well, you're here, aren't you? So it probably never happened. Well, I see it. It never happened. Just a figment of my imagination. No, I didn't say that. I just know you a bit. I think you're uh, just a bit too old for random bunk-ups nowadays. Well, not. Nah, you're right. I am miles too old. <laughs> and you have a seam of romance running through you that's half a mile wide. What does that mean? It means that you're nearly mature enough to feel that sex should have something to do with love. You might be right. So... Of course you will. Soon? Very soon. Thanks. Bye. I did love you, Dylan. 